He is the minister that would be left in the cold. Of the three said to be on the chopping block, Gaspar Shamine is the one predicted to get no replacement job, just a quick dismissal from ministerial life. News of the reshuffle came late last year from straight-up host Claudius Francis, and while it has not materialized, the government has to date not confirmed or denied the report. Shalmine says he too knows nothing. He also claims not to have seen any media reports about his impending demise. I don't know about that. I'm hearing this, but I'm the person who has to decide on that. That is the Prime Minister. And the Prime Minister usually calls you in to say, well, I'm sending you to foreign affairs, I'm sending you in there. He has not done that and I have no right to believe any article on newspapers. The newspapers sell articles. They sell their newspaper by creating sensationalism. If you hear I'm going, people come to me, I hear you. I said, I don't know that. <laughs> well, the first thing you have to ask is the Prime Minister of the country. A visibly uncomfortable Charlemagne was more candid about his immediate political future. He says he will not contest the Souffre seat he lost in 2006 to Harold Dalson. And although he would not comment on the ascension of the tourism minister who is expected to replace him, he would say that he would support whoever was selected by the United Workers' Party. When the time comes, I'll do that because the party has to accept Mr. Chastney and anybody that the party endorses, I will also endorse. You can be sure there'll be no, no, no second thought about that. I support the party. Charlemagne says the Prime Minister and not the media will dictate his present job description. And to date, he has heard nothing from Stevenson King about his movement or dismissal within the government. He also says he would not ask anything of the Prime Minister based on reports that include a front page article in the Star newspaper. I don't have to go and run to the Prime Minister and tell him something I read on a newspaper. That doesn't make sense. The Prime Minister is a man who knows his job. He knows how to do things. And, and thing. I'm not the only one. I, I heard there were three names. I've not read the newspaper article. So you can be sure that once it has not come for the Prime Minister, I'm safe. Carmi Joseph, HDS News, Channel 4.